Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I've been asked by there was a comment on this um, on one of the videos and from time to time I get people asking me if there's still something to listen to in the marine bands on shortwave and for sure the marine bands have changed a lot since the 70s and 80s with the uh, advent of now satellite telephone and the fact that a lot of the communications uh, happen through satellites um, and, of course, when they get to a local port, uh, some VHF stuff and UHF stuff happen also. But um, So the bands on the, mar the maritime bands are, of course, quieter than they were, but they're not, um, they're not dead. And that's very important to check out. You might think, well, there's really nothing there. In reality, there is still some HF stuff. There are some older boats that still rely on HF for communications. And there are some ports that still do some HF communications and even HF distress call frequencies are still in use. And uh, an example is I was reading a post, I don't remember on which utility um, column uh, panel that, uh, that I follow, a uh, blog, sorry. And um, there was actually um, some people listening to a distress call from about um, last week. Uh, people in Europe could apparently hear some uh, communications and some rescue um, efforts happening on 2182 kilohertz, which is one of the well-known um, distress frequencies. So that means, yeah, it might be quiet, but it's not zero, and there are some things to listen to in there. I've even had some rare but still active phone patches from time to time. I will share this page here, um, uh, three links actually from this page. So one of it is, so this is the page for Marine HF SSB duplex frequencies. This is the one for uh, distress frequencies. And this is the one for simplex frequencies. So when you go down the panel, you'll see that there are frequencies. And they explain simplex, duplex, and how it all works in frequencies that are in use for different stations. So why not check that out? You'll be able to learn a little more and see what uh, the uh, different frequencies use, distress and um, international uh, radio distress frequencies. Uh, you've got, of course, here the bands that you can check out because you'll see the frequency bands. And if you want to know what, uh, you know, for example, duplex operations, you have these little blue lines that you can expand to have frequencies uh, of operation. So simplex and duplex. Just to give a quick uh, note on what's simplex and duplex. Um, so simplex is simply uh, frequencies that are used for uh, communications from one, um, from one ship to the other. Often simplex frequencies will be used um, on the same frequency most of the time. And that means that if you're on, say, 6275, the other one will respond also most of the time on 6275. Duplex uh, uses two frequencies. So in general, in duplex, you'll have a frequency where there's a call frequency and there's a, uh, which is usually there's the ship receive frequency, there's the ship transmit frequency. Uh, and same thing for the coast, or receive and transmit, which will be two frequencies. So if you have the ability, for example, to listen with two radios, you'll be able to follow a full conversation by listening to the two frequencies at the same time. So you'll see here the paired duplex frequencies. And, of course, the distress frequencies, um, you know, they might be worth monitoring from time to time. Think about it, but there are thousands of, in thousands of boats at sea uh, and, and you know who knows what could happen sometimes so why not monitor these uh, frequencies for the um, um, rescue frequencies or the distress call frequencies uh, these are the ones that are valid on HF so it's not just 2182 that's one there's a, there are other ones and they use simplex um, as you see here so you'll see what's going to happen and uh check that out you see the uh different information in this panel so all three uh all three uh links will be in the description below the video monitor and check it out i'll be monitoring i've um, 
while looking at making this video, it made me realize that I need to uh, also monitor the marine bands a little more. And don't forget that our frequencies with marine weather broadcasts also that you'll be listening to. So when you monitor these frequency ranges, you will come across some of these. Uh, there are quite a few in North America, one from uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. There's the one in uh, Louisiana. There's the one in uh, Point Reyes, California. Uh, and there are others around the globe that actually have uh, marine weather uh, broadcasts and stuff like that. So check it out. The links are in the description below the video. And uh, have fun trying to monitor some of the activity of the uh, marine frequencies on HF. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.